Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to one of my short videos on mods I actually use and like. And this should be of particular interest for those of you that are thinking of playing as a roguelike character, because we'll be looking at a genuine alternative to Shadowfoot Sanctum, and that's Canalside Bunker, a mod created by the very talented Sock Rebecca. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Now, getting this home is very easy. Uh, just head over to Riften and pop into the Pawned Prawn and speak to Bercy Honeyhand and for the princely sum of 6,300 septims the key to the canal side bunker is yours. The home itself is right opposite uh, across from Elgrim's Alexia's and directly underneath Honeyside. There's nothing really to report on the outside, just a small table and a couple of chairs and is nice and discreet as a rogue's home base should be. So let's just take a wander around the inside. Well, first things first is that it's suspiciously spacious, one could almost say TARDIS-like, um, but let's suspend belief for a little bit and uh, take a peek around. So first things first, we have the cooking area and food supplies. Sadly, there's no oven, which is a shame. Uh, big dining room, two uh, tables, so that's pretty cool. It's nice and spacious, isn't it? And we wander over into the smithing area. You've got everything you need here, bar a smelter. Now, there is one in Rifton, um, I believe. God, jeez, I can't remember now. Anyway, love that mural on the wall. It's really great. Candles up the stairs. The vibe here is really great. And we're walking around into the enchanting and alchemy area now what i love about this is everything's close together your smithing your alchemy your enchanting there's storage around available could be a few more chests i think um apart from that super handy for like a big crafting run and moving on into the uh kiddies room and i love the vaults in ceilings it's really well laid out for kids now i'm assuming you need a uh, another mod to bring your kids here. I, I never do the family thing in these kind of homes. I always end up going to Lakeview Manor. I think it's the best home for a family, well for me anyway. But the room itself is great and you can bring kids here. Okay, like I say though, through another mod. And we wander around into the foreign followers room, which again is superb with specialised uh, follower storage and stuff like that. Again, beautiful vaulted ceilings and the candles and the vibes great. Now, here's the thing about this, though. Um, this is with uh, Inigo and Grom. They will never come in here. When I go outside, they're always going in and out of Maven Blackfriars' house. I don't know. There's a little glitch going on here. Um, maybe it's only uh, my mod loader loadout sorry uh, which is causing this I don't know but it uh, doesn't matter if you have a, uh, any problems with them just fast travel to Missfield Cape and uh, they'll meet up with you there okay you see what I mean about being suspiciously TARDIS like <laughs> love the stairs with candles coming down all helps to the vibe and again into your bedroom it's all fairly simple Yeah, you've got your storage name storage over there and you've got chests and blah, blah, blah. Everything you need, desk and safe and cool bedclothes as well. It's actually nicely done that. I like that. Don't know who the people in the painting are, but it uh, doesn't matter. All adds to the vibe. Yeah, I like it. Now, one thing about this house, it's not one of those homes that gives you loads of enchanted weapons and gold and stuff like that. You, you don't get any of that here. Um, you just get your home. But personally, that doesn't bother me. And you come into the uh, bathroom area. Sadly, this doesn't do anything at all. Um, like in Ryak's, uh, um, Ryak's end, you get, uh, you get some uh, buffs when you have a bath. Nothing like that here, sadly. And again, it would have been nice if you had a face changing mirror or something like that there. But uh, no, it's nothing. It's pretty useless room, really. It's okay for aesthetics. And we're coming down to obviously a very important uh, room for a thief. And that's your display room. And a door that basically gives you concussion every time you open it. And even though it's kind of geared towards like other thieves, guild and uh, black, uh, 
Dark Brotherhood and stuff. You've got storage for everything, your paragons, your black books and yeah, your claws and dragon masks and everything. He's got everything you want. Again, love those murals on the walls. Absolutely fantastic. Great vibe. Yeah, I love this. And the one reason why I'd actually take this home over Shadowfoot Sansom, which I did like, I genuinely did, is that this is just easier to get to. It's spacious, it's not cluttered, it offers you everything that does. It's just easier, especially the crafting area being all, all together. You know I'm a big fan of that. Um, all in all, I've got to say I absolutely love this home. Now, I hope you do too, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, catch you later. Love you.